so the applications themselves are based on a combination of web apps as well as native applications using uh, QML. So I'll show you an example of a native application. Um, so the, uh, the gallery. This is our, our own application, so you can see that we've got uh, photo content, which is searchable over a time over a timeline, and then we can go into uh, a particular day and see what content was available. So this is a this is an example of an application that's really utilising the um, the hardware in a very sort of, um, intense graphical way. Um, in, in a similar way, um, we have web applications that can. Got screen freeze. It's all right. Just needs to. Uh, sorry about that. So this is the um, this is an example of how we can establish web app integration, some of the system features. So um, this is showing a timeline of all the messaging um, activity that's taken place. Um, so you can see Skype in there as well as uh, Facebook. Um, so web apps have access to certain system features in the phone that give them a very, um, very rich, deep um, integration, a very good user, which extends the user experience of those web apps. So services-wise, we're um, working both with uh, web application developers as well as um, um, more um, conventional QML application developers. But where do you see this fitting into the market? Right now, I mean, Android and iOS are two big players. Microsoft's kind of on the outside and looking in, but growing. And yeah. then you've got BlackBerry, which is, seems to be on the way out, and WebOS, which has kind of disappeared. Where does this phone and this operating system fit in? Well, we, we think it's a very um, flexible system in the sense it will scale both for low end for entry level um, hardware all the way up to higher end more expensive hardware. So we have a very flexible approach in terms of how the system will um, work, um, which allows operators to about using the platform in a, in a way that's relevant for their markets. Um, it's got a very distinctive design, it's got a very um, specific user experience, so for example I was talking about the use of all the forages. Um, it's a very open platform, um, it gives um, carriers and manufacturers the opportunity to customise the UI in some way, which is something that isn't available on the platform. So these are the kind of elements that we're looking to explore with service partners to um, to establish um, this, this, this platform in the market. And is there a time frame where we might see the first phones come out? Uh, any partners? Any... So we're working with, uh, to allow our partners um, to, we're working with handset manufacturers and carriers um, to allow them to be able to ship this, as a, uh, ship this phone at the end of this year, beginning of next year. So we could see them by the end of 2013. We could see them by the end of 2013. More likely 2013. early 2014. It could, yeah. I think probably more likely in terms of expectations around uh, early 2014. But it, 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 it does depend on what progress we make you know, very, very soon with certain kinds of manufacturers. Are there any specific uh, carriers or manufacturers you can share that you're working with? Uh, not at this stage, no. We don't have any announcements to make. Okay, well, thank you. Appreciate that early demo. No problem. And thank good you. luck. This is uh, Ubuntu. And we're at CES 2013, android.com.